Okay, I thought I would just do a quick declutter here um, and just move on to my face primer drawer and below that my foundation tinted moisturizer and setting powder drawer. Um, so as you can tell, I have quite a lot of primers that I don't even have probably enough time or <laughs> enough face to go through all of this. So um, I kind of just want to do a quick little declutter here. Probably won't declutter too, too much, um, but I just wanted to film a quick video to try and post that with my declutter series that is now on my channel. If you would love to subscribe to my channel, that would mean so much to me. My name is Lizzie and let's get to this. Um, so over here, sorry, I'm holding my phone, so I hope it's not too wobbly. Um, is the Marc Jacobs Coconut Primer. I got this in the Marc Jacobs set. I plan to keep this because I do want to try this. Um, it also came with the mist, but I'll do that in another video when I do my face mist, setting mist. This is one of the first items I bought, one of the first high-end items I bought is this YSL, um, kind of like a, not cream, but like a, putty almost um silicone kind of uh face primer here it looks actually decluttered like a little discolored it's actually really old and pretty gross um so yeah this i am definitely planning to declutter it's the touche clot blur perfector so it's like kind of a silicone -y, uh base but yeah that is super old so i am going to just toss that this is new to my collection. I got it a few months ago and I haven't used it yet. It's the Givenchy um, what is this? Givenchy yeah, Matte and Blur Touch. So basically it is like a little kind of primer ball there that you'll just like apply to your face and it's supposed to mattify and uh, prime your makeup. That. Um, yeah, so this is new, so I haven't even used it yet, so I will continue to hold on to that. Uh, this is the Benefit That Gal Brightening Face Primer, so it's the um, like little liquid that you uh, screw up, and it will come out through these holes, and it's just kind of like a cream, silky moisturizer almost that's supposed to illuminate and prime your, your face before you apply makeup. Um, I used it a few times. I have combo to oily skin, so I really don't need anything that's glowy or anything. I think I just fell into the hype and wanted to try this. But yeah, I think I will go ahead and declutter that. Um, this is the Giorgio Armani Prima Nourishing Glow Enhancer Oil and Gel. This is super expensive. Very expensive. I tried it. I didn't like it. I think it's very kind of sticky almost and just very like gel type that I just, I don't know. I just did not like this. Um, and it made my face feel sticky and I felt like, you know, like I said, I'm combo to oily skin. So it just made it like look oily and yeah, I used it like once or twice and I was just like, no. So I'm going to declutter this. Anything that is like pretty, um, Full and new still I am just going to list on my Mercari account so if you're interested you could go ahead and find that on Mercari um, this is the Arborean extra matte mattifying primer um, it's still new in the box I love anything that's mattifying so I am going to hold on to that here is the Sun and Park beauty filter cream glow so I didn't really know what this was exactly. I'm assuming it's, I read online that it is like a face primer that you could just apply uh, before makeup as a base and, um, or maybe just even just use it as an all over moisturizer if you're just doing bare makeup days. So I haven't even tried it yet. I'm gonna hold on to it and give that a go. This is the Guerlain Meteorites base. Um, these kind of cool little pink pearls um, that you just dispense. I got this during the Sephora sale, I think back in the springtime, it was the last one left in store. I really hate the scent of Guerlain makeup. I think it's, it's just kind of grandmotherly, um, just that violet. It's just very overpowering and I'm not one that's very sensitive to scents. Um, I really just 
do not prefer the scent to this, but I do like this primer and it is pretty new still, so I'm going to keep that. But I do have, where is it? I have something else that was Guerlain that I can't get rid of if I could find it, but we'll see. Um, this is the Yves Saint Laurent uh, Touche Clot Blur Primer. So um, it's kind of like a silicone -y base with these like little gold flecks in it. So it's supposed to give you that kind of glow underneath your makeup. Um, I am going to hold on to that since it was pretty expensive. Here are my Becca primers. This is the Backlight Priming Filter. Um, I haven't used this in a while. I really should continue to use it. I liked it when I did, so I'll just keep that. And this is their other, um, can you read it? First light priming filter. So this is the purple one here. So it's supposed to give kind of more of a glow to your skin. Um, I used it a few times and then I put it aside. I don't know how old this is. Um, maybe I'll try it a couple more times. If I feel like it doesn't work as well, I'll just get rid of it. But for now, I'll keep it. And here is their other Becca Velvet Blur Velvet Blurring Primer. Um, so I got this from Ulta. It's still new. I still haven't opened it or used it yet. Um, I've heard mixed reviews about this, but since it is, you know, supposed to be blurring, I'm going to hold on to that and try it out. This is the Dior Glow Maximizer Light Boosting Primer. Um, you know, I feel like I've used it once or twice, but I really don't remember how I liked it at all. Um, see when you ever like I'm trying to get through a couple primers right now so I try stuff and then I put it away and then I completely forget how it worked or how I liked it so this will be a maybe I don't know if I'll really reach for that these are just like a bunch of mini samples that um, I'll keep since I even though I have the full size I'll hold on to that this is the NYX honey do me up uh, primer so it's similar to the YSL one with the little gold flecks in it and kind of like the silicone -y base um yeah I think I'm just gonna declutter this since I already had the YSL one and I don't need a couple of these here is the G oh there's another YSL so I have a couple of those from uh when Sephora was offering those extra you know deluxe size samples here's the Guerlain Lior um primer so it's probably just like the YSL, so I'll keep that one and try it. I think, yeah, I have two of those, so <laughs> I like to hoard samples, as you can tell. This is the Hourglass Veil Mineral Mineral Primer. Um, I got a few samples of this when I first got into makeup, and I just love this primer. So this is like the kind of smaller version of it, because the full size is super expensive. So I just got the mini size, and we'll definitely keep this, and I try to get more samples of that whenever they offer them um, at Sephora, which I probably still have in here somewhere. Here is the Makeup Forever uh, Base Mattifying Primer. So I haven't even tried this yet, but like I said, I want to try anything that is mattifying. This is the MAC Matte Creme Primer. Um, I have never heard of this product. And I just happened to find it, I think, on Macy's. So I ordered that, but I haven't tried it yet, so keep that to try. This is the YSL CC Primer um, in Apricot. Um, yeah, I don't really remember how I like this at all. So this kind of will keep up with the Dior and see how that goes maybe after one or two more uses and make a decision. Here is the Cora's um, Pomegranate Mattifying Primer. I haven't tried this yet, so this I still keep and use too. I know. Uh, the Shiseido Ibuki Smart Filtering Smoothing Smoother. Um, I got this during the Sephora sale, so it's still unopened and uh, haven't tried it yet. So it's in my pile to try. So I have a little mini of the Becca uh, Backlight Primer, so keep that in case I get rid of the bigger one. And then I have a ton of these samples. Um, so these are just samples. Here's the Dr. Brandt Pores No More. I will try that. The Cover FX Mattifying Primer. Still have to try that. The Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. Um, I have a little mini of this, even smaller than this. So I wanted to try uh, this size here. And I heard it's more cost effective to get the, you know, the $15 version rather, rather than the full size. Because if you get two of these, it equals the full size price. But you get more product or something like that. So... Give that a go. Um, yeah, here's a bunch of the little hourglass primers. 
This was in one of the Soko to Tokyo Sephora favorites boxes, the Touch and Soul no, no Pore Bloom Primer. So I wanted to try this little sample. And then, yeah, just a few of these samples I really need to go through. Um, like the Too, Too Faced Love Hangover Primer, the Too Faced Primed and Peachy, little MAC Prep and Primes. I try and give those away as much as I can. Another Becca Extra Matte Primer. This is a uh, Lottere. Um, they're not sold or easily easily accessible in the U.S. So I got that from Japan, I believe. The Peter Thomas Roth Skin to Die For Primer. Benefit the Professional Matte Rescue Primer. The little Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. I definitely did not want to buy the full size because one, it's super expensive. Two, it's huge. I don't even know how I could even get through that. Um, but as you can tell, I have tons of primers, so I really just should not even be buying any more full-size primers. Um, I probably most likely hold on to most of these little sample sizes because I feel like that's a good way to test them and see if I like them. And that way I don't need to buy a full size right now. So I'm not getting rid of too many. Um, there's one, two, three, four... <laughs> yeah, about four that I'm definitely getting rid of. Maybe I will go through some of these samples and just put them in little giveaways or something um, in the future. But like I said, a lot of these are unopened and I really do just want to test them out when I can uh, before making a, deci a decision. And these two, I will see. So these might also get decluttered, but I want to give those a go because they are still pretty full. So yeah, that's just my primer drawer. Let's move on down here to my foundation tinted moisturizer setting powder drawer. Um, so I probably won't get rid of too much in here because I don't really have too many foundations, but this one I am definitely getting rid of is the Sunday Riley Influencer Foundation in the shade 130. I had such high hopes for this foundation. It's my first ever foundation I ever bought. I've only done like tinted moisturizers or BB creams before. And you know, since Sunday Riley is such a good skincare brand, I was like, oh my God, foundation is going to be amazing. I tried it once and I liked it, but then I tried it again and I hated it. It just, it makes your skin just look awful. <laughs> I, I don't have dry skin by no means. And it just like made it look super dry and clung to my, like it created these dry patches I did not even have. And it was just horrible and it was too late for me to return it so unfortunately I was stuck with it but I just will never wear this again so I will get rid of that but these other foundations I am going to keep the Dior um, backstage face and body foundation is one of my favorites for 2018 this benefit um, soft blur foundation number four that is a great foundation the cover of x power play found foundation is super good um, this one is in shade G30. It's a little bit lighter, but I'm pretty pale right now. And the Beauty Blender Foundation, I really liked. Um, this one is in shade 3.20. So those are all the foundations I have left. And then for tinted moisturizers, so I have like a Sulwasu, uh like BB cushion. Um, I don't really use those too much, but I'll keep that. The Arborean BB Creme in the shade Dore, door. It's the medium shade, so that's really nice. I love the Chantecaille, um Just Skin Tinted Moisturizer. This is in the shade Wheat. Um, I have to use this more because it is getting a little bit older, so I need to get through that. The Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. This is a really nice tinted moisturizer as well. This is in the shade Tawny. So it's a little bit darker, but it works. I can still use it. Here is a Burberry Fresh Glow BB Creme in the shade Medium Number Two. This is okay. I'll use it. Oh, here's the other Guerlain. Guerlain BB Glow um, kind of tinted moisturizer in three. I just I can't stand the smell of this, so I think I will declutter that. These Laneige little cushions, um, I'll just use up until they're gone. Nothing wrong with them. I just don't really prefer the, the cushion. 
And these are like little samples of foundations that I feel like would be my shade. Um, so I want to try those and see if they work for me. Um, like I said, I don't really wear foundation too often. So I feel like the little samples will get me through the couple of times I do wear them. <laughs> so we'll see if I like any of those. And then my setting powder. So this is bunch of setting powders I still have yet to open. This milk makeup setting powder I have to try. The Laura Mercier um, translucent setting powder in a little mini size I got from Influencer because they also sent me oops, the translucent glow setting powder. So that I would not use all over my face. I would just use it like for highlighting points because it is pretty glowy and I don't need any extra glow. The Marc Jacobs uh, finish line invisible setting powder I got. Still have to try. The Peach Perfect Too Faced setting powder I still have to open. I have the Too Faced Candy Banana Pudding setting powder. So I actually have two of these. Um, so one of them I'm keeping in my untouchables and then this one here. Yeah, I haven't even used it yet, but this one I will use since I got two of them. And then these little minis, a little Stellar setting powder, It Cosmetics, Besame, number seven. This one, oh, it's Chanel one. I don't even remember this one. Oh, it has a nice little white packaging here. Did I try this one? I don't remember. Let's see. Nope. I haven't tried it, but... I think they like use this as a blush, but I felt like it was going to be too light for my skin or maybe I just felt like it would be better as a setting powder. So it's in the shade light. So I think I just plan to use it as a setting powder. I don't really know if that's what it's for. And then I have these little minis. I have the mini hourglass um, translucent powder that everybody was raving about. So I wanted to try that and it came in a little set with the veil primer. primer. And then this one, I don't even know what brand this is. Oh, this is Laura Mercier that came in my Sephora Playbox. The Too Faced uh, Powder, Makeup Forever. Of course, the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Finish Powder and Fair. Everybody loves that. Some more minis, Cover FX, Spare Minerals. This is the Essence Loose Setting Banana Powder. Um, it was cheap. I just thought I'd try it. But yeah, sorry, I'm not getting rid of too much in here. Just a couple of things I haven't, you know, that I did try and knew I didn't like. But everything else, like I said, is pretty new, unopened, and just waiting to try. So that is on my list for 2019 to really get through some of these unopened items before I can buy any new ones. So that's why I'm doing a low buy because I do not need to buy new products when I have all of these still sitting here that I have not even opened or tried yet. So that is my 2019 goal and resolution. And I hope you enjoyed this quick little video. Sorry, it wasn't like a huge declutter, just showing you my primer, foundation, tinted moisturizers and setting powders and what I knew I could get rid of and what I have in my collection to try. Have a good day, you guys, and I hope you had a great New Year's. And what are your goals for 2019? Are you doing a no buy or a low buy? Um, it seems like a lot of people in the beauty community are doing this, and I think it's just, you know, a smart choice for us consumers and to show the brands that, you know, stop inundating us with a ton of products that, you know, we don't need. We already have in our collection we have to use up what we already have and to just you know kind of stop being wasteful I guess but I'm not you know one to talk I don't want to be a hypocrite but you know as you can tell I do have a lot that I need to use if anything does catch my attention um and I feel like I really do need it then I'm not gonna you know deny myself but I definitely used to just buy 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 without really considering what I already have in my collection so I really am just gonna try to be more thoughtful and think about, uh, you know, what I need to use up because makeup does expire and it goes bad and it would just be a waste. So thanks for joining me and hopefully I'll be doing some bigger declutters than just showing you guys what I have in my stash. Thanks. Bye.